What's up, everybody? Hope you're having a great day. Um, I just left the uh, the ATM, and I'm pulling out, and I got a decision to make. Do I go down there to the casino, or do I go this way to go to the coin shop? I think I'm going to go to the coin shop because I lost some money yesterday, man. I don't even want to tell you the story about it. And end up going to the wrong damn casino. I thought it was in one casino and went to another. But anyways, I'm going to go see Nick. <laughs> I'm going to go see him. I just got a couple of bucks on me. Um, I try to get a little something um, every day or every other day at least. Um, just to keep, you know, keep it going. Because, you know, it's a savings account for me. You know, it really is. Um silver is just something that i just really really love man and it's just something that i just can't give up i have not sold any silver uh since i bought it and that's amazing and i've always been a good saver but this is like saving on steroids for me it really is and even if you only stack for five years or something like that and then you turn around and sell it in increments you know once a month or something like that you can you can you know make some pretty good money you know sell three four five hundred dollars a month off of it and I'm not saying you can live off it, but it's a nice, uh, you know, supplemental income. You know what I mean? And it's your money, you know, it's your real hard earned cash. So we're just caps capsulating it. So yeah, uh, we're in the, uh, we're in the bowl, you know, with the uh, mountains all around us. And yeah. So I say I pulled out 60 bucks because let me tell you something, guys, the barbershops here are a little bit different from back home. Uh, for for me to get a haircut back home, because I do my face and my hair um, at the barbershop, because I don't shave myself. So back home, it was $15 for everything. You know, get your face done, edge up, and things like that. But for a full haircut, it was 20 bucks. It went up a little bit after the scamdemic. It went up to 25 um, but still, for everything. And then I paid 15 or 20 for an edge up, which is a little bit higher. Um, but it, it was reasonable here. Oh my God. It's, uh, $30 just for a haircut. And if you want the hair and the face, it's 40 bucks. So yeah, I, did you, yeah, you heard me right. $40 for the whole kit and caboodle, you know, and I'm an African American male. So I go get my haircut, uh, probably once a week. Uh, if I go one, you know, twice, once every two weeks, it's going to look like, end up looking like a werewolf. So I try to go once a week and I went last Tuesday and he did a really good job. But now I'm going to say this, they do a lot of stuff though. When they cut your hair, they, you know, they shave you up. Now I got shaved up back home too, but they really like give you the works. Like they put a towel on you and, you know, warm towel and get your skin nice and warm. So that, you know, the skin will get nice and tight and they put extra stuff on your face and stuff like that. It's cool, man. But for forty dollars, oh my goodness, it's killing me. So I made a deal with him. I said, "Look, man, can I if I get an edge up with the uh, shape up, you know, with the uh, beard and stuff? Can I, can you do it for thirty man? He's like, "I usually do it for forty, but I'll do it for thirty. I was like, "I'll come see you every week." So I already got a haircut last week. My hair is low enough. I only get my haircut once every probably two to three weeks. Like I actually cut down. Um, but I do need my face and the edge up done every week. So uh, this week it's going to be tomorrow's going to be thirty bucks if I get it done tomorrow. I did get it done tomorrow on Wednesday. I pulled out sixty bucks in the ATM from the ATM machine. Uh, Bank of America's cool because it's right next to the casino, but they give you the option of your denominations. So I did this on purpose. I got four tens and a twenty, and I only pulled out sixty guys. So let's see if I can contain myself. Uh, the last time I checked, the spot prices were pretty low. Pretty low. So let's see if I can contain myself and not go crazy in here. And uh, I've been doing some inventory on my stuff. So I'm looking to get a couple of things. And I'll show you when I get out. But hopefully I can contain myself and not go too crazy. But I don't think Nick will let me go crazy anyways. You guys know him. So all right, guys, I'll see when I get out. Guys, uh, I just left the coin shop, and um, I got some good news and bad news. Good news is I seen some stuff I like. Bad news is I seen some stuff I like, <laughs> and I ain't got enough money on me. 
So I gave him that $60 and told him to keep it at the register and keep that stuff right there. Keep that stuff right there, I told him. And I'm going to the damn ATM, guys. I got no, I got no freaking willpower, man. None. I got no willpower. But trust me, if you, what I'm about to show you, I mean, it's not a big deal, but for me, it is because I only have one of these and I got to get, and one of them I have none. So I actually might get something else too, but I got to do it, man. Oh, silver is going to break me, guys. It's going to break me. Oh, man. Guys, <clears throat> I'm pretty happy. I'm going to be honest with you. So I had a talk with Nick today. I said, Nick, let me tell you something, man. I said, I wanted to just tell you, because there was nobody in the store, just me, him, and, of course, the, uh, the two security guards. <laughs> and... I said, I want to tell you, man, I appreciate you, bro. I really do. He goes, oh, that's okay, boss. I said, no, I want to tell you that. I really appreciate you. And uh, I said, man, it's just in my nature to be a um, to be a negotiator. <laughs> that's just my nature. So it's nothing personal. He goes, no, 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 boss. It's just, that's the name of the game, man. I said, boy, but you love telling me no. I said, but today you told me yes. And uh, I brought up 60 bucks and I spent 260 and the reason I did that, because I've been doing some research into some coins. I got 10 uh, premium coins, okay? I got 10 uh, sovereign coins, I guess they are, you know, the ones with the dollar denominations, except the uh, Libertads or Libertads or whatever you call them. They don't have dollar denominations, but they're considered premium or sovereign. It's just that Mexico didn't put a dollar amount on them. Um, but I got some of those. I got two coins that I've never gotten before. And I'll show you those in a second. And I was thinking about it. I said, I'm getting 10 ounces for $260. Now, I'm not saying that's the best. And I know it's not the worst. But I will say, when I when I was home, I paid over $300 for 10 ounces. Um, you know, when the spot prices were higher. You know, but to get 10 individual coins for $260 and be high quality, high premium coins, I can't complain about that, man. <laughs> Even though I do. And you know, I got three different coins. Uh, I got a Libertad, obviously, and I got two other ones I'll show you in a second. I got mostly Libertads or Libertads, um, but I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy with my purchase. So when I go and park, I'm gonna show you uh, in the uh, parking lot what I got. But uh, yeah, today I'm, I'm, I'm happy. And I got a new perspective on uh, the Nevada coin mark and Nick. You know what I mean? Cause I asked him straight out, I said, Nick, how much for, for a round, a generic round? He goes, boss to 26 he says usually these um these these premium coins are 27 but i give them to you for 26 he said but the generic rounds are 26 i said how much for the bars one ounce bar he's all one ounce he says 26 eagles 30 something uh the chinese pandas 33 i'm like okay so i know I, what i gotta focus on i gotta focus on the sovereign foreign non-american eagle non-china chinese panda no generic no silver or you know silver rounds or bars and no constitutional i just got to strict strictly stick to um fractionals and like i said the so sovereign foreign the other foreign coins you know it, besides the chinese ones for 26 bucks i can't beat it man i gotta i gotta do it and a reminder of you guys you gotta buy, you gotta spend your money the best you can. You gotta get the most bang for your dollar no matter what. Now the fractionals, I do take a little bit of a hit uh, sometimes uh, because sometimes I end up paying a little bit more. Uh, you know, I pay, uh, what do I pay? $2.60 sometimes, which is the same as uh, the foreign coins. But I also pay $2.75, which is a little bit more. If you do 10 of those, it's $27.50. The only reason I buy those is because um, they're fractionals and I love them. So yeah, so I'll show you in a second when I park and show you what I got. So like I said, we got five um, Mexican Libertads, Liber Libertads or whatever you want to call them. Got five of those, love those, man. I only had one of those in my stack. Then I got three South African Cougarans. Didn't have any of these, so I'm excited about these. Never never had these in my stack. Now I got three of them. Got three of those, and then I got two 
uh, Australian kangaroos. I didn't have any of these either. I had one of these in, in, a, in a platinum, but I sold those. So these are my first silver kangaroo. So, hey, guys, 10 ounces total, 260 bucks. You can't beat it, guys. You can't beat it. So don't spend your money when you can't get a deal. Now, I'm saying buying definitely buy consistently, but don't buy unless you know that you can get the best deal you can. You stretch your money out the best you can. Because one day, remember, you're going to have to sell it. So you don't make your money when you sell, guys. You make it when you buy, all right? So just remember, make it when you buy. Buy it right or don't buy it all, all right? I appreciate you guys for watching. Do me a favor. You see what the girls are doing. Leave a comment in the comment section below. There's a few things you got to do when they're pointing down there, okay? They want you to leave a comment. They want you to like the video. They want you to share the video and they want you to subscribe and hit the notification button. That's all they want you to do. They may want a little bit more than that, but that's between you and them. All right. But at the end of the day, guys, we got 10 ounces to the stack. Um, we got to do what we got to do. Do me a favor, guys. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about this haul today and what you guys are going to do in your stacking uh, situations. And also... Uh, Share the video for me, please. Because listen, guys, I'm sharing a lot, man. I share my face. I'm sharing my freaking car with y'all. And I'm, and I'm sharing my medals in this not so beautiful weather. It's nice. Don't get me wrong, but I'm in, the, I'm in the shadow, so it gets a little cold here, okay? Because we already know sharing is caring. And you guys also know I love you guys. You know that. You guys know that. So I'll talk to you soon. Have a great rest of your day. I don't know if I'll talk to you tomorrow, but we'll see. All right, take care of yourselves. God bless. Peace and love, guys.